If you are a mom like me who loves taking photos and videos of your children, you must have thousands and thousands of photos and videos sitting in your phone right now. With so many photos and videos, it must be overwhelming to keep track of all of them. And let's not forget this constant fear of losing these precious memories if anything happens to our phone. In this video, I am going to share with you my system of organizing and backing up videos and photos. Now, this system will help you keep track of all the photos and videos that you have and to make sure that they are accessible for everyone to enjoy in the future and most importantly, to keep these precious memories safe. Smartphones and digital cameras have become an integral part of our daily lives and we have so many memories of our daily life and children captured in the form of photos and videos in them. And with so many memories, it can be easy for a collection of photos and videos to become cluttered and overwhelming. I know that organizing thousands and thousands of photos and videos often feels like an impossible mission, but let me first share with you why it is so important to organize and back up your photos and videos regularly. Reason number one, accessibility. When your photos and videos are organized, it is so much easier to find and access the specific memories that you are looking for. Now, this is important for family photos and videos so that you can easily share them with other people in your family. Or say the teacher in school asks for a baby photo of your child, you can easily pull out the photo you need. Second reason, security. This is so important. Now, organizing and backing up your photos and videos regularly ensures that these memories are safe and secure. So if anything happens to our phone or our computer, we don't lose everything. Reason number three, saving space. During the organizing process, we actively declutter the photos and videos at the same time by deleting duplicate copies, blurry photos, and poor quality videos. This can help save storage space on your phone. This is important because the last thing we want is for us to realize that we cannot take a video of an important moment like our children's end of year school performance because of insufficient storage in our phone. Reason number four, memory keeping. This is a way to keep our memories alive because we can pass an organized collection of memories on to our children and they can go through and enjoy these precious childhood memories in the future. I hope I have convinced you how important it is to organize and back up your photos and videos regularly. Now I'm going to share with you my organizing and backing up system. This is what I do every month. In the first week of each month, I will export all the videos and photos in my phone and a digital camera from the previous month to my laptop. So for example, it is January 2023, so I have exported everything in my phone and a digital camera from December 2022 into a folder in my laptop. On my laptop, I will start sorting my photos and the videos to two main folders. Folder 1, family and friends. So these are photos and videos of my children, our daily life and our family and friends. Folder number 2, work. These are photos and videos I took for Happy Thought Shelf, like all the video footages you see in this YouTube video or for my Instagram Reels or photos for Happy Thought Shelf blog. In this video, I'm just going to focus on organizing the family and friends photos and videos because organizing my work content is another huge topic. While I am doing the sorting, I will also be actively deleting any duplicate copies, blurry photos or poor quality videos. I know parents do this all the time to get that one perfect shot of our children, we tend to take like 20 photographs. So I will keep that one perfect shot and delete the 19 duplicates of my children blinking or looking away. Alright, so now we have all the photos and videos of our family and friends from December and all of these photos and videos are what we are keeping. I will now sort them further into three subfolders. Folder number one, family daily life. So these are random photos and videos of my family's day-to-day -day life. I will separate the videos and photos and place them in two different folders, one for the photos and one for all the videos. So for example, these are photos from December 2022, so I will name the folder 2212. 
So two two represents the year, and one two represents the month of December. And these videos from December 2022 will go into this folder two two one two videos. The second sub folder are for special events. So these are special event photos and videos from overseas trips, birthday parties, or maybe a day out to the zoo. I will create a new folder for every special event. Then I am going to name the folders with the date and event. So for example, all the photos from our Taiwan trip in December go into this folder. I will name this folder 2212 Taiwan. So 22 represents the year, 12 represents the month of December, and 11 is the first day of the trip. And this is our last subfolder, friends. So these are photos and videos I took with my friends without my children. They will go into this folder and I will name it 2212 Friends. Now that all the photos and videos from the previous month are organized, it's time to back up them. Now this is something I do religiously ever since I became a mom because I cannot imagine losing any precious photos and videos of my children if I lose my phone or if my laptop crashes. I know I said this so many times but I really highly recommend that you back up your photos and videos regularly too or at least use a cloud storage solution that will automatically sync all the photos and videos in your iPhone to your Apple account. Next, I'm going to share with you some backup solutions that you can consider. Option number one, cloud storage like Google Photos, iCloud, Amazon Photos, and Dropbox. These solutions allow you to upload and store your photos and videos online. This means that you can access your photos and videos from any device with internet access, and your files will be safe even if something happens to your computer or phone. Option number two is to use an external hard drive. So this is a physical storage device that you can use to back up your photos and videos. This is a good option if you have a large number of files and you want to keep them offline. Option number three, network attached storage or NAS in short. A NAS is a device that connects to your network and allows you to store and share files. This can be a good option if you want to store your files in one central location and share them with multiple devices or users. I highly recommend that you back up your photos and videos to at least two locations because no one backup method will guarantee that your photos and videos will never be lost. But if you use a combination of methods, you have a higher chance of keeping your photos and videos safe. For my family, we are using the Dropbox and NAS. Now we chose Dropbox, this is a cloud storage solution so that we can access our photos and videos online and we can share links to these uh, photos and videos with our family and friends. And we are also using Nest because this is a physical storage solution. So unlike uh, the cloud storage solution where our photos and videos are somewhere out there, um, for Nest, we have all our photos and videos in a hard disk and this hard disk is at our home. Once you set up your NAS, backing up is as easy as dropping these folders into the NAS folder on your computer. When I do that, the NAS device saves a copy of everything in the folders in its external hard disk. At the same time, we have programmed our NAS to sync with our family Dropbox account. So everything inside our NAS is duplicated in our Dropbox too. So if something happens to Dropbox, we have our photos and videos in our NAS. And if our NAS crashes, we have copies of photos and videos in Dropbox. All right, so how do we do the backup? So I simply transfer the folders of photos and videos to my NAS. Let me show you on my laptop now. So in the NAS folder, you will see the same three subfolders. One, family daily life, two, special events, and three, friends. In each of these subfolders, we have a folder for every year. And in each of these folder for every year, we have 12 folders for every month. So this is where I will transfer our photos and videos to. These two folders from our family daily life, the 2212 photos and 2212 videos 
will go into this family daily life 2022 2212 folder. Special events, photos and videos will go into this special events folder. So our 2212 Taiwan folder will go into special events 2022 folder. This may look like a lot of work, but I want to assure you that this really doesn't take up a lot of time. I use just 15 to 30 minutes once a month to do everything from exporting, sorting to backing up all my photos and videos. And my advice for you is to do this regularly, like every month or every three months, so that things don't pile up. It is definitely less overwhelming to go through three months of photos and videos compared to three years of photos and videos. If you have not organized and backed up your photos and videos before, I suggest that you export everything out and back up them immediately first. Then move on from there and start organizing and back up your future photos and videos. And if you have time, you can always go back to the old photos and organize and sort them a little at a time. After backing up all our photos and videos, there is just one last thing I like to do. I will choose 20 to 30 photos each month, print them out and put them together in a photo album. I love having a physical photo album that we can flip through and look at all the photos together as a family. I have one photo album each year or every two years. This is a long video. I hope this video gave you some ideas on how you can organize and back up your photos and videos. The most important thing is to choose a method that works for you and your family and just get started. If you find this video helpful, please like and share this video with all your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!